Sup nerds, I'm Tom, and we're going to talk about this game that definitely is a game, I guess. So, uh, Ganesha, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, is a pretty simple, straightforward, uh, like, just set collection game where you will draft or really just kind of, like, pick gems from here that go on your board, and there's a way to get them a little bit more efficiently. And then once you have a bunch, you place them out on this board and you get points for them. That's it. So the beginning of the game, you're going to take just one gem from here, right? Um, and then you have to decide if you're going to add it to your treasury or one of these, I think they're called destiny um, spots. But anyways, if I, if I have it in a destiny spot, like if I have a blue up here, right? So that means the next time I go and take one, if I take a blue... I can also get another one that is adjacent to the blue, regardless of what color it is. Um, and when I gain those, I can either then add them to my treasury or swap from this spot. You know what I mean? Like I, I can never just dump the one that's in, in here, right? If it's in this top little box, I can't just say, well, now I've got a bunch of blues. I want to drop this blue down. I guess you can't do, or assuming that, I mean, I, I think we got the rules correct, but the rules were both really thorough and really vague like they kept repeating the same thing over and over again right which i guess is good for some people um but i i think maybe there might have been some translation issues some things were kind of vague and, and weren't uh, i don't know maybe just my enthusiasm wasn't wasn't high enough when reading the rules you're basically just gathering all these going around in, in turns gathering gems in that fashion um until you decide to take them from your treasury and place them on the board you place them, see how they're going kind of in like these little concentric uh, circles um, because, you know, you have to start in one spot, right? And then I will place it, I will put this blue and I will cover up that blue, which gets me three points. And the next one gets me five points and this one gets me four, whatever. They're kind of a little bit, seem a little bit random, but this, you can tell there's a little bit of a pattern. Some of them kind of go up and down, like, you know, like a wave. Some of them kind of go, da, 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 you know, a little bit. Um, you know, so there, so it's different. Oh, so you don't want to be the first one to just place one cube there because then the next player, second person to put it there will get more points than you do. So you want to save up until you can get uh, two or three or four. Like, it's always just the more the merrier. The more things I can save up, the better. I guess it kind of becomes a game of chicken, maybe? Uh, not even. Uh, but of just, like, trying to um, see who's going to collect the most because I guess I don't want another player to place all of the gems there, right? Then I'm screwed. Uh, but that isn't really likely like you're gonna we're all just gonna wait until we get like three or four or five or whatever the number we feel is good enough and you know someone's gonna bust and put them out there you know i mean in order to do that you have to burn a gem right so again if i have five blues i have to burn a blue to put them out there unless i have yellows i can burn a yellow to place any other color why are yellows better i don't know are they less frequent i didn't think so they're also like you can put yellows out there but they're not worth a lot you don't burn anything to put yellows out there oh you burn zero and then throw all your yellows out there but yellows also seem powerful and that's weak like i don't know why who or why someone would do that maybe at the end for like a tiebreaker thing um there's also a more advanced variant where you can throw these um special ability tokens on the board and when you take a gem that's on top of a special ability token you get to do a special ability and those are in the game they are you get to like take an extra gem or move stuff around on your board or take one from another player or something or i think you swap with another player and <sighs> this game just really fell flat you know um, there's just it's just so it's almost like too simple and i'm like there's a decent amount of random and not that many choices and everybody's just kind of gonna do whatever and the rules are just kind of funky like there's you get this disc thing and you like you rotate it like every player is going to be first player like three times i think is the is the way you do it um like first player three times in a row and then they pass and also they get a point and why if everybody does it then what does it matter um now i did think i i think i saw uh them post on their instagram that you no longer get a point that they altered the rules or something which is you guys admitting that that rule is just kind of you know i mean the components are nice you know it looks pretty i love the colors the gems are i mean they're generic gems and they are very round like when you're going to fill them out on this board um they, they kind of you know roll around and there's you want them to fit into the hexes or whatever i mean you know nice bag it's just there's just like nothing here i mean it's a set collection kind of and again i'm not saying like you draft from the middle but you just kind of take 
you know? Okay, well, you're going to probably take the blues, and I'm going to probably take the... Okay, I want to take that. Okay, you took that one. Well, oh no, my day's ruined. Like, it... <sighs> I do kind of hate trashing on games, but this just did nothing for me, you know? Uh, I guess I didn't hate it. Is it bad? Is it poorly designed? Like, is it like a broken game? <sighs> no? I, I just can't recommend this game, like, like at all. Um, even, you know, okay, maybe... Like, it is it is pretty or whatever, and I guess, you know, if you're new, brand new gamers, there's just much better games out there for new gamers. Like, it's so simple that I don't know, like, I would never choose this game over any other game, even of comparable um, uh, complexity, you know? Like, okay, you like set collection? Okay, I'd rather play Ticket to Ride. I don't even really like Ticket to Ride that much, but I'd rather play Ticket to Ride. And if you like Ticket to Ride, okay, well, then you would like this game, right? <laughs> I still wouldn't recommend it. If you like Ticket to Ride, then just play Ticket to Ride or a different Ticket to Ride. Or or try a different set collection game that bumps it up a little bit, you know, uh, mature in your gaming complexity knowledge a little bit. You know, try like Castles of Tuscany has set collection, but a lot more stuff going on in it. Um, I just, I just don't get it. I just don't. Um, I really hate, you know, ending on a low note here, but uh, we do have a purchase. We put a purchase link for every single game, even if we don't like it. Uh, in the description box down below. Uh, there's also going to be a link for Game Toppers. I'm not going to remember this in T-1 day. And I'll, I'll probably get sued for saying that. Either way, subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored.